All right, so I'm going to give away some of my secrets. Look, I've had these ideas around statistics, some things you can do as a side hustle, and I just haven't had the balls to start them myself. So I'm going to give away my secrets away to you for free. So the first side hustle I would consider doing is statistics consulting. Now, what do I mean by statistics consulting? So as a consultant, basically you're just a mentor to somebody else doing a statistics project. Maybe you have people in your local area, some local businesses, maybe somebody in your family, other students that you may know. But you offer your service as just somebody with expertise in statistics to them, offering mentorship on a project. So you tell them from start to finish exactly how you would do the project, some things they want to watch out for, some things they want to be careful of, some data collection methods, and maybe the type of analysis they would want to use. So maybe you charge somewhere between $30 and $50 for an hour-long call with them, setting up their project from start to finish and exactly how you would do that. And the nice thing about this is that it's pretty scalable. You can do multiple of these calls per week, so it's really not dependent on you doing all of the work yourself. You really kind of lay it out for everybody else and let them do the work. And maybe you even follow up as an extra bonus add-on that you can provide on the service. So you can call them maybe a week later to see how they're doing, see any of the pitfalls they're having, and just continue checking up with them throughout the majority of that project. And like I said, I just haven't had the balls to do any of these projects myself or any of these side hustles myself. So if you do decide that you want to do them or you want these services for yourself, let me know. Please let me know down in the comments. I'll reach out and get in contact with you because I'm really interested in trying to figure out you know, what's the best way to do this. All right, now the second one is kind of an extension of the first, but rather than just being a consultant, you're going to be doing all the work yourself. Now at first, this sounds much worse. But you can charge probably a lot more for these services than just being, you know, a mentor or a consultant. So in this case, you're going to go out to local businesses, friends, family, people that you know that have a research question in mind or are wondering something about their business or their service that they offer. And you can come in and take the data that they may already have and do an entire analysis project from start to finish. Now for this, I don't know if I would charge by the hour or by the magnitude of the project. If it's going to be a fairly small research question with a limited amount of data, you don't have to charge as much. But if they're doing a massive project for a pretty decent sized local business, you probably want to charge a little bit more. Now this one I think is much more lucrative, but it's also a lot more time consuming. Because not only are you trying to figure out what the best way to do this analysis is, cleaning the data, but you're doing the full project from start to finish. You're coming up with the research questions possibly, you're going to have to consult back and forth with the client and see what exactly they want. But this is something that I think can actually grow into a business in itself rather than just a side hustle. Now, of course, you can just do maybe one of these projects every couple months and probably make some decent money doing it. But I think this is a great one because you actually get to do these projects from start to finish and you can kind of build up some repertoire with these clients and they might even suggest you to other people. Now, this is one that if I was taking this seriously, I think could be a real business and worth it in the end. So now that you have a couple that you know you can do in your local community and will serve as great side hustles to make some decent money on the meantime, especially while you're in college, I think this is a great idea. This third one is a little bit more like bigger scope than the other two. Um, this is one that I think could be like a huge business, but that's mass data collection. So on the internet, everything is collecting data from you. Can you find a way to take that data and curate it to a certain group of people? Because there are people that will pay a lot of money to have the correct data um, on consumers, on a certain group of people. So you just have to figure out who you want to collect that data from, how you're going to get it, and then who that data serves. There's this group called Tiger 21, and it's this group for uh, highly rich people, but they come together and they talk, you know, their investments, their real estate, whatever they hold, their businesses, and just kind of bounce ideas off of each other. Now, if you could have like a clientele list of all these people, you could serve that to advertisers um, that are looking to market to high value, high net worth people. Now, this sounds a little kind of shady and weird, but these people will pay a ton of money for that. So if you're willing to do that, I think this could be a huge business as well. And that's not like the only use case. You can use it for a variety of things. Maybe there are businesses that want information on their competitors. You can figure out a way to use web scraping to scrape competitor data, even local businesses, and get valuable insights from them, do analysis around them even. And I guarantee companies will pay a lot of money for that information on their competitors. So any type of like mass data collection on the internet, I think there's it's kind of like an untapped market, especially in local communities. Like there's, you know, people are doing this on large scales like Amazon and Walmart, but who's doing this for local businesses? I mean, I think this is a project that can turn into a huge business and something that you actually spend your life doing. So if that's one that interests you, again, let me know down in the comments. So the last one I think is another great one to do in your local community, and that's writing surveys and interpreting them. 
I guarantee in your local community, there are people and businesses and maybe even people running for office that want valuable insights on you know their target demographics, whether that's consumers or whether that's voters. So can you reach out to them and figure out what types of questions they want to know about people? And can you write their surveys for them, get them out in a valuable way that people respond honestly and openly? And then can you take that data that you get from those surveys and interpret them using sound statistical techniques? So if you're taking a survey sampling class, you probably have a lot of the tools already, but this is going to take a lot of work. This is one of the bigger idea ones, but is there any way that you can take a hold of that market and do it in your local community? But if you want to learn some of the skills so you can learn how to do these things on your own, watch this video next.